For our water harvesting, today we're going to be wrapping this IBC container. So welcome back to the channel. Um, it is time to start getting these IBCs installed. If you can remember uh, quite a few videos ago now, we installed this water tub for our horse Tyson. Uh, recuperates the water from the, uh, the top of the animal shelter. Um, what we want to do is incorporate that roof with the compost bins roof, which is quite a big roof. It's actually bigger than that one. So we're going to join the two roofs together via a series of IBC containers. So the first thing we need to do is get this IBC wrapped because if we don't then the sunlight will just um, start turning the water green. It'll get all uh, mildewy and horrible and um, it's not very good for the plants or the horse. So uh, we're going to wrap it in a polythene. Um, we have enough polythene I think to do two but I'll measure it as we go along. Uh, take it out of the steel, the metal frame, wrap it in the polythene, put it back in the frame and it should be fine. So uh, let's get on with that now. These bolts here on this particular IBC are a number 40, a number 40. So I'm just removing the two straps on the top and these will be replaced after I've done the wrapping. They just come out like that. to those one side. And then it's a matter of taking it out of the frame. I'm just going to rest it on its side. And it should just slide out. So they're not that heavy when outside of the frame, so that's pretty good. We went for the, um, the metal based frames just for a bit of longevity. We don't have to use the, uh, the wooden pallets, um, so I have now three like this, this unit. So that's it all wrapped. Um, it is quite warm. Uh, the tape, I'm not sure, is going to hold, but this will be a good tester. So this is the first one I'm going to put in. Um, we'll see over the next week or so because we have, do have some warm wa uh, weather coming, whether it's going to last or not. But um, I think once it's settled down, it should be fine. So now I'm going to do this hole here, which is the water inlet. Back in the workshop. I'm just going to cut the hole in the top cap of the inlet for the IBC container. 
to take this filter. It's a swimming pool filter that I found in the local DIY store. Very cheap, six euro or so. So um, we're just gonna cut 125 mil, 130 mil hole in the top of this, and then that should slot in. There is a handy little nipple just here where they've uh, in the um, molding process and uh, so that's going to be dead center so I'm just going to drill a little pilot hole there so that now is dead center of the cap So now I have the, uh, the exact dimension of the filter, I'll just cut that out with the jigsaw. So all that's done, off to the field to uh, carry on wrapping the IBC. See you there. The, uh, the downpipe should just sit in there nicely and I should be able to just get that out to clean, throw all the leaves out and things like that. Um, the holes aren't too big or too small because uh, if they're too small then it'll just block up straight away. Um, I'm going to have another filter on the outlet that will take you out all the, the tiny things to stop blocking the pipes in the polytunnel and also any bugs for the uh, for the horse. So I'm going to screw this on now to get a line and then carefully cut and then tape around the edges. What I'm going to do at this stage as well, where the bars went through the top um, securing rods, this here is getting taut because I'm pulling down onto the uh, where the cap goes. So I'm just going to do a little cut across the top so they protrude through and then I'll just put some um, tape on there just to reinforce the edges. Right, so all the tape is just around where the cap goes, so the cap now should 
Just screw on nicely. And that will just sit on top. So now I've just got to um, tilt it on its side and we'll do the hole for the outlet pipe. So the next job is to put the bars back in. So the plan is now to um, raise this up by probably two breeze blocks, cinder blocks high um, and that will run a parallel pipe to the ground all the way around the animal shelter to the other two IBC units. So this will fill up from this one at the same time filling the other two IBC but one of the other IBC around the corner will have the inlet from the uh, compost bin roof. So hopefully two roofs going into two three IBCs all at the same level. Right, thanks for watching. Um, the next ones will be the insta installation of the, the plumbing for these and finally getting it into our polytunnel for the drip system. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I won't need a pump, um, but that'll be another project if I do with our solar. Um, please click that thumbs up, it really helps us. Stick on the little bell to give you a notification of the next video in this series and please press the subscribe we're getting there um, it's very slow it's real hard work on youtube but we really enjoy it and it gives us a diary of everything we're doing on the homestead and soon the container house build so thanks for watching and see you next time